Hey y'all. It is Gala and it is Tuesday and we are going to go over some of our Monday sales. Um, Richard's behind the camera filming. We are 7th row and we sell every step. So first off I want to go over this. This is a Lego. This was in a Lego bundle that we bought for just a few dollars. Um, this is brand new and let me find it. Still got its back factory feel. Factory feel right there has not been punched out. So, got this. Thank you, Micah, for buying this. And Micah is all in $26.47 on this product. This one right here also came in this Lego. It was like a couple totes just full of random loose Legos, a couple of these, this, and I can't even remember what we paid for it, but it wasn't much. And this is like a, just a little Lego case that does have some scratches on it, but it is a red two-tone Lego case that's got some dividers. It's got some missing, but I took pictures of all that and disclosed all of that in my description. This sold to Andrea, and Andrea is in for $18.55. All in for that. Weighs nothing. So, all right, this vest right here. Um, when we first started, we, we decided that clothes were going to be the way to go. Well, we have found out that clothes are not our niche. And so, we have like 200 pieces of clothing that we bought a year ago um, that we still are trying to post. This one did get posted. So, I can't honestly say if this one came from a garage sale or the Goodwill. Highest dollar would have been the Goodwill and we wouldn't have paid any more than $3.99 for it. And a lot of times we didn't even pay that. We tried to get stuff on the days or get the color tags. You know how Goodwill works. You know, your, your color tags are a certain percentage off. Um, this is a wool. And this one sold to Daryl. And Daryl is actually all in for $38.25 on this vest. Thank you, Daryl. All right. So we want to talk a little bit about this one. This one is a Sonic action figure. This one sold to Gerald. And Gerald is actually $61.96 into this. Um, that is including shipping. When I say all in, that is including their shipping price. Um, this, this can go first class. Um, I'll add some insurance to it. Or maybe just, maybe just bump up to priority. Whatever first priority box it'll fit into. Anyway, so it won't ship for much. Um, but I just kind of wanted to show y'all the, the condition of this. This is still in the box. It does have a little area at the bottom where the seal has come loose. It is in bad shape. I would consider this bad shape. Disclose, disclose, disclose. Description, pictures, disclose. At the end of your description, say, please see photos for box damage. That way, if you did miss something, you're covering yourself with that little line right there. Um, but disclose anything, you know. I took a picture of it laying down where it showed that this is not flat. Um, that is so important because these collectors are going to get these in their hands. And if they're paying this much for them, they are collectors. They're going to get these in their hands. And if they are avid collectors, they are going to be really mad if you don't disclose all of this and they buy this. This is, this is a, I would say, a small high dollar. I mean, you can really get into a lot of money. And I'm not, I'm probably preaching to the choir because y'all all know this, probably, that are out there. But there might be a few people that are, are just starting that go back and watch this video. And, you know, don't think too much about putting stuff in the description and how important it is. But it is. People need to know what they're buying. They are spending their hard-earned money. They need to know what they're getting. They need to know it's not mint. They need to know if it is mint. And you need to pack it like it's mint, whether it's mint or not. Um, so anyway, we are going to do this throughout the week. Make one video of our sales for the week. Today was not not that great, but we had a couple of things. So um, we will be back tomorrow. We'll add it to this video, and we'll accumulate everything towards the end of the week. So thanks for watching, you guys. Bye. Bye, y'all. And we're back. Remember, I'm Mom Richard. Got Gala behind the camera. Yeah, I guess. All right. All right, so today is Friday. Just got done with some garage sailing. And going to do our shipping for the, yesterday, which would have been Thursday. And if you're keeping up with the days... 
you know, as we skip Wednesday because I had no sales on Wednesday. Bummer, it happens. You know, we're gonna probably talk, touch on that later videos. You know, just to kind of stay motivated even though you're having a bad sales day. So, uh, first thing that sold yesterday that we're getting out is a Build-A-Bear Glitzen. Um, Glisten. Glisten, glitzen. It's a shiny Build-A-Bear. It's got it's light, so up, light up answer, antlers. Uh, as Kayla said before in other videos, she doesn't pay more than a dollar for Build-A-Bears or blushes. Uh, and Glisten sold for $16.23 all in. Next is a butterfly nose build a bear tie dye plushie. We love this build a bear. She's getting really close. I almost kept this build a bear, but I no. don't need this build a bear. Still with tag, clean, smells fresh and lovely. Uh, Rose nose build a bear went for Rose nose twenty seven dollars. Oh, heart nose butterfly. <laughs> you got heart nose, so it's butterfly. <laughs> Sorry, your fault. Butterfly Nose Builder Bear. Butterfly Nose Builder Bear went for <laughs> $27.01 all in. And we'd like to thank Sandy for buying the Builder Bear. Uh, next, guy stuff. All that girl stuff, I believe. Uh, just a Metal Mech NES game. You know, it got a little, little damage. Everything was disclosed. I uh, took a best offer on this for $12.72, including shipping. Uh, garage sales, be on the lookout for these. Um, we use a Retron 2 game system that uh, plays Super Nintendo, regular Nintendo. If you don't have a regular Nintendo system, guys, you always want to check and make sure these are good. And if not, disclose that you have not checked. But always fun to, you know, play with an old vintage game for 30, 40 hours. <laughs> Back again with some more vintage G.I. Joes. Um, this is Gung Ho. Uh, he had some damage to his paint. Disclose it in the uh, description. Uh, and like I said, vintage toys. Great bolo resale, just bread butter. Always be on the lookout for these. I have, we've had so much luck with these, and like I said, you know, these are from when I was a kid, young warthog. Uh, so we got gung ho there that sold for $19.81 all in. Uh, Viper, the Cobra Infantry Trooper, was a was a good one. He sold for $23.64 all in. And Lady J, $20.94 all in on that one. And if you notice, all of these so far and the next one are figure only. You know, you will get more if you can find them and do the research and put weapons and backpacks. But, you know, they still sell even just figure only. And best one of the yesterday was shipwreck vintage 1984 i believe mm. yeah went for 2715 all in so you know hunt search for vintage toys you know anything from you know in the 80s even 90s it's not 90s it's still vintage mm -hmm. Look for those. Just... 2001 is vintage now. And this is going out. This is parts. Um, sold the RC car. An associate B6. Uh, associate car. Well, last week. I think it was a week before last. And, you know, guy paid... Paid up for it. It was, a, it was a good deal for him and a good deal for us. And going through some of my other RC stuff, I found some parts. So we're just going to freebie ship him some extra parts for it. You know, 
email, uh, emailed him, let him know it was on its coming on its way. He was real appreciative, but you know, didn't have to do it. But you know, eBay one big thing with them is customer service. You always want to make your customer happy. And one big thing with us is customer service. Yeah, and you know, I mean, it could have thrown away, but you know, didn't need to. I don't have another one, and I know you know he's going to break parts, and he's got some replacement parts now. So uh, that'll do it for. Richard's a really nice guy. I try. Uh, that'll do it for this week's What Sold. And I want to say it hasn't been a great, great week of What Sold. I mean, it's been pretty steady ish. We've, we've had better weeks. They're not all like this. It just happens to be that, you know, we had a day with no sales. Like I said, we're going to touch on that a little bit. Um, that's really hard on me. I, I, it really brings me down, but we're going to touch on that in another video, but, um, thank y'all for watching. Yeah, remember to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Ooh, ooh, he did it. Seven throw. We'll see Resale you next every step. Time. And we'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye. Hey guys, seventh row here coming at you with a what sold video. Uh, today's Wednesday, what sold. Tuesday. Uh, we ran a couple auctions on the vintage G.I. Joe, like I talked to y'all previously about pieces and parts. Um, first one is a piece and parts bag of vehicle pieces. Uh, and it's sold. And this is the vintage G.I. Joe stuff. This is vehicles. And it sold for. It sold for since he can't see it, um, thirty one fifty nine all in on the auction. He can't see nothing, y'all, because he's a dork. And our second uh, lot is is uh, missiles. Same GI Joe, a uh, bunch of around um, out of my personal. Warthog, young Warthog collection. Uh, you know, it would be more profitable, profitable if you went and singled out each individual missile part like that, but ain't nobody got time for that. So we did a full missile lot and it sold for 10, 66 all in. Okay, and this this is our big ticket of the of the yesterday. Um, it is a tech um, outdoor something or other uh, dog GPS, GPS locator for um, people who hunt. You know they set their dogs loose and they can track them with this. We did have fun testing this one on our best friend. We Took her out in the woods and dropped her off. We gave her this, which shows the location. This, we put back at the house. And after a couple of days of her not showing back up, we had to go out and find her. Yeah. Sorry, Leslie. Sorry. Next time we'll know better. But, like I said, this is our, um, our bolo of the, of the yesterday. We picked this up at a garage sale for $15. And... We had to go on Amazon and find a charger for it. So we paid $15 for this and $13 for a charger for it and sold it for? Total and two twenty seven seventy seven. So, uh, Bolo, be on the lookout for uh, hunting apparel. I, I don't, yep. you know, as Camo. far as uh, range finders, spotting scopes. You know, it, it sells very well. We've had several bolos before we started our YouTube channel from this auction and some other auctions. But, yes, that, that kind of stuff goes very well. And remember, even if people aren't big hunters in your area, you're, you're, selling, to, you're selling to everybody. You're selling every stuff to everybody. It takes all kinds. Yes, it does. <laughs> and... Last but not least, it is a, probably not a, I don't know exactly, 
If it's an original, my nose is annoying. No, but it's the it's Highland Mint. It's so. Highland Mint. It's a uh, the Dallas Mavericks key to the city for Dirk Nowinski. 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 Yeah. Um, picked this up at a garage sale for a buck, and we we did have it for probably four months. You know, and so not. Not a quick sale, not a, not exactly a long tail, but like I said, got it for a, a dollar at a garage sale and sold it for thirty one sixty five all in. And this is one of the things that when I listed it, the value of it was higher, but um, people have dropped their prices, or you know, I don't know if <clears throat> there was a lot of them out there that all of a sudden, you know, I went back and the price because I priced it comparably at like. Thirty nine ninety nine plus shipping, and went back, and the trending price had dropped drastically. So I took an offer on it because we had had it for a while, and I just, you know, we have some other Maverick stuff that we that we have, and uh, we were gonna maybe do a lot, but I just went ahead and took the offer, sent it out to somebody who appreciated a Dirk fan, you know. So, and. Uh, that that's really all that sold it's been slow but you know why it's been slow because we haven't been listing for a couple days we i've got my gi joe listing mm -hmm. i know so anyway so that is it for today we're gonna we are going to pack and go ship and we're gonna do some sourcing and hopefully shoot some video while we're doing some sourcing for you guys we're gonna hit maybe a couple goodwills and a thrift store and then we're gonna go get some food because we're hungry we're gonna do that first so from seventh row gala and myself thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day